Welcome to the Shulamite Podcast, an extension of Shulamite Ministries and Shulamite.com, with weekly interviews and teaching with author and speaker Martha Kilpatrick and hosted by John Enslow. This weekly podcast is a way to stay connected to the ministry. So come experience anointed messages, not giving just another method, but a living impartation. I don't know about you, but this time of waiting and letting go and, and waiting for him to fill, there has been... I'm, <laughs> I've been anxious about waiting. I've been anxious because I'm waiting. I'm anxious because I'm anxious about not waiting. I'm anxious, <laughs> you know what I mean? And so I'm I'm trying to wait. I'm try you know, it's it's crazy. I'm I'm trying <laughs> to wait. Yeah, that's just doesn't make any sense. Well, it takes a lot of letting go. And uh one story I sometimes tell is that when Shulmite, the book was first book was published, and Shulmite was being formed by the Spirit, the Lord had said to me very directly, "You do not name this thing until I name it." And I knew I didn't want to name it by my name, but I was waiting. And at that point in time, there was a lot of excitement about it, and a couple of the men wanted to start organizing it and etc and it felt like a business a god business and i did not want that so i went to the lord and uh, said what am i going to do i don't i don't want to be it's not your will that it be a business with an you know executive <laughs> set up he said let it go let let them have it see and they want to do it just let it go it's not yours and what he did was he met both of those men. Both of them were called to support my work. And I couldn't rightfully or righteously bring that about. The Lord had to do it. Things happen when you let go that could not possibly happen if you're trying to fix everything and control everything. So letting go is faith because it means you're letting go of control, of manipulation, of trying to get it in hand you let it go and god is perfectly able to get it in hand and i, I got something about really very similar to that I, I wrote it down as a note to bring to the podcast and i said if we live tight-fisted we are prevented from receiving that which the lord is giving mm -hmm. and so all of a sudden i thought oh my gosh that is a that is number one the waiting number two letting go and, and if I'm coming with an agenda or a purpose or a work or a do, whatever it is, and I've got that gripped, there's absolutely no way I can receive what the Lord wants to give. And I'm, what, what you have shown me over and over and over is when I live open-handed rather than tight-fisted, the Lord gives me something so much greater than I would even ask or do or be able to make. And that's the point. He wants us to let him be God. But he, if we want to be God, he will let us. And then we, have, we don't have the thing. It fizzles out. Plus, John, it, everything has to originate with Christ. He's the beginning. He's the alpha. He's the beginning and he's the omega, the finishing. If the idea or the project doesn't originate with him it's going to fizzle because he cannot maintain what is not in his hand well i'm, I'm you know anytime that I, I run on my agenda or my time frame i think he purposes to thwart it mm -hmm. i i literally think that he purposes to to i'm glad he does even though it's painful and i've, I've told the story before because i have a whole series of devotionals on the word let and I've told the story before I was sitting in a garden in Spain and there was something going on at home that I had gotten word of and it had the potential to be very very destructive and I was just beside myself over it because I, I couldn't do anything I couldn't help it or control it or stop it and I was just in agony there and the Lord said very loud let and when I absorbed that word, he began to say, let it go, let it be, 
let me. And it turned out very favorable to me. It turned out that the Lord defended me, or whatever, it wasn't about me, but he made it very favorable to me in a way that I couldn't possibly, he put me in a position where I couldn't possibly affect it or control it. And so he did it without me. And that, he loves that. That's why letting go is so powerful. And I, I realized in these, in my notes for this podcast, this is really meekness. I've always felt like meekness was a character attribute of Christ. But meekness is the willingness to let go. You have to be meek by choice in order to do that, to not fight, to not fret, not to fix, not to control, not to get in the middle of it. It, it is an exercise of meekness, and the meek shall inherit the earth. And all the men of the Bible, the great men of the Bible, were meeked. And, yes. and how they were meeked is by waiting. Yes. David, Moses, Paul. That's right. That's right. I mean, Paul waited for 14 years. David waited in the wilderness. Um, Moses waited in the wilderness 40 years. I mean, so... That element has to be in, in any work of God. So being meeked as a man, I know that, um, and that's probably why I feel it in my chest when, when I'm sitting there waiting is because I'm being meeked and, and the Lord is, uh, I guess that's a, that's a word that they use with a horse too, isn't it? A strong horse is being, you have to meek him by breaking him, right? What you break is his will, his willfulness. <laughs> And and as a man, and as the men of the Bible that, that were meeked by the Lord, they all waited, they all had to let, they all had to let, I mean, awful situations. You've got a, the king um, wanting to kill you and chasing you and, and wanting to, you know, wipe you off of the face of the earth. You've got Pharaoh, and he's wanting to kill you because you murdered and turned against the, the royal family. And so he wants to kill you. You got Paul, who is blind and, and who was a murderer. And I don't know what kind of fears he had um, that, you know, maybe he feared the Christians would come and kill him for doing everything they did. I don't know. You know, th those are the things that we don't know. But what we do know is that the, that season of waiting was, and letting go and not having control was a, a very meeking thing. And, uh, and like you said, the meek inherit the earth. And in the, I was thinking too today that meekness describes a lamb and sheep. And they, they don't have any other alternative. They are 24-7, they're meek and helpless. And so the shepherd is there, and they, they are completely protected by the presence of the shepherd or whatever guard the shepherd puts on them. But that's the nature of the sheep, and it's not the basic human nature that we have. Basic human nature is, I'll, I will be God, I'll, I'll learn about it, and they'll make me God. And so it's, it's attacking the most primal thing in us, that I don't need God, I will do it myself. That's what it goes after, the requirement to let go, to not own anything, to not control anything, but to what God, what God takes away, you let go. And what he asks you to give, you give. And then he is fully able to be God in our behalf. Well, when you come knowing, um, what you're really doing is you're coming sufficient and having something. Mm -hmm. It's self. But when you come letting, this is where it goes into the faith thing. Um, you're coming with faith that he's going to do it, that he's going to provide. And, um, and then there's, again, the, the tight-fisted thing. You just you can't come tight-fisted. You can't come knowing. You can't come having. You have to come wide open and, and receiving. And the big issue is independence and control. And we all, this is the death of our independence. And what's amazing is once you learn the phenomenal outcome, which is things you, he fixes it ways you would never imagine. You could never possibly anticipate how he's going to do it. But once you learn that about him, 
you know that you have faith in him. So letting go is not the crisis that it used to be. However, the, the situation gets worse as you go along. <laughs> so. We hope you've enjoyed the Shulamite podcast. For all the latest from Shulamite Ministries, please visit us at shulamite.com, where you'll find Martha's daily devotions, posts from getalongwithgod.com, and the online library of all of Martha's writings. At shulamite.com, downloading the free Shulamite app is easy, and livingchristianbooks.com is only a click away. Thank you for joining us on this journey to discover a God worth knowing.